hey let's talk about my uh, let's talk about our skimmer and co2 scrubber um, that we have here so uh, I'm in my sump room slash closet a little bit messy but you know everything is doing do, does fine for uh, for what we have right so um, you can see there we have a life reef skimmer so uh, it's a, an SVS24, I believe it is, and uh, we'll have that hooked up to, right here, a, uh, a, a CO2 scrubber. So, um, this one I bought from Bulk Reef Supply, but really you can buy, uh, as you can see, all it is is just a canister that can hold the, uh, the CO2 scrubbing media. So, the way that I have this plumbed in is... The, this line right here, which you notice is connected to the top of the skimmer cup there, is the input into this side of the CO2 scrubber. So, it says right there, that's the in. So air flows in there, out here, out, out here, so the air comes in that side comes down comes up through all the media comes out the outlet of the co2 scrubber this hose right here is the input on the skimmer so this is just a uh, a standard injector right now um, i'm just got this skimmer installed about a week and a half ago still kind of dialing it in just a little bit seeing how everything works uh, good likelihood I'll wind up going to a, uh, a Mazzy injector um, but for right now it's actually working pretty well you can see that I have it connected to a skimmate locker which is against the recommendation of uh, of the guys over at Life Reef but for my sanity um, I do it this way and you can see that's about four days worth of skim eight um, you can see it's getting some pretty nasty stuff out so yeah anyways uh, that's my co2 scrubber connected into my life reef uh, SVS 24 skimmer um, if you're curious that skimmer is being driven way down there by a Jebio uh, DCT I believe it is no I'm sorry DCP is in Paul 15,000 running at 100 percent you can see here's the controller for the uh, for the pump um, yeah it's a DCP 15,000 and this is running 100 percent that's the only thing that is feeding is just that skimmer just through that uh, uh, one inch pipe through a union and then I believe that injector drops down to three quarter but uh, feeding a pretty good uh, pretty good amount of, of flow through it as, as much as I can uh, feed through it it's feeding through it and it's handling it handling it just fine so anyways i'm hoping this co2 scrubber here uh helps me keep my co2 up above eight right now having a really hard time getting getting up to 8.0 on my ph so i'd really like it to be a little bit higher than the low eight maybe eight to 8.1 something like that uh, at peak and preferably stay in the very high sevens uh, at night, but yeah, I'll report back and let's we'll we'll see how this does, uh, and let you know.